Hello everyone and welcome to Farmer Simulator 22 The French Plain and a very good morning to you. Now if you're new to this series I'll do what I always do and give you a quick tour. Uh, this is the whole map of the, uh, the French Plain. Uh, we're up here in the north we have two fields this one here and this one here and we have three fields 66, 69 and 72 and we also have in the south a patch of land just here and it has some productions on it if we can see them there they are and next to it we have sorry next to it we have a vineyard so first thing this morning I was going to go down to field 66 and it needs spraying fertilizing uh, it should the there's canola on there it should be in its first growth stage but I just noticed that this grass field also needs fertilizer and um, it needs herbicide as yeah, no, it needs lime as well, sorry. So um, I thought I'd give this field just a quick squirt before we do anything else. Uh, you'll, ha you'll see here I have the Isaria Proactive, which the last two times I've fertilised, I've got to use. So we need to use this. Uh, it's on, you can see it's on by the, the picture of the tractor in the top left. And OK. Let's get spread out and we'll give it give this field a quick squirt and then we'll get down to field 66. Okay, well I cut to the end of this job because uh, this wasn't even supposed to be in the video. I didn't realise it needed doing, but uh, it was supposed to be a quick sp uh, spray of the field, but uh, it wasn't very quick at all actually because uh, I needed to go and buy 6,000 euros worth of fertiliser. So... Um, I should say at the moment we're saving up for a um, a great processing unit because we're imminently due to be um, harvesting grapes and I want to upscale my grapes to raisins or grape juice. It, eventually I'd like to make wine but the um, the production for that is 300,000 I think. It's a mod and it's 300,000. So anyway, at the moment we're off to field 66. Do you know what? I don't think this field is in its first growth stage. No, it isn't. There's no there's no canola popping its head up. There are weeds. Medium. So I think we'll come back tomorrow, which is a shame. So what we'll do today, I did mention just now that we need to get some money in for um, a production. So, I think what we'll do now is take our lorry and our low loader and sell everything we can find. Uh, because we do have loads of strawberries, we have some bread, and other stuff. I can't remember exactly what. So, I will, I will cut when we're back to our, our lorry. Well, this is the last strawberry pallet, and so far I'm quite proud of my stacking unless, unless I knock it all off with this one. <laughs> um, so I'll just put this last one on and then we've got some wool to pick up. I really should check the price of the wool at the moment. Um, the wool is round, well, I'll drive the lorry round there anyway. Um, now, it probably doesn't really matter what the price of the wool or the strawberries is because we need all the money we can get at the moment to save up for another production which is 80,000 so this is why I want to sell everything and also while I'm, while I'm here I want to see how many eggs we've got because uh, we can potentially make cakes I think I will take these actually and put them in the bakery because then uh, we can start making cakes it's only eggs that we're missing so we'll take these as well and let's have a look actually at the where is it for wool here's wool here so 808 so the maximum we can get is 1420 well I'm sorry but we're just gonna have to sell it because we need the money I know it's daft but we need the money now um, if we had all our productions rolling out stuff every day it would be a different story, but they're, they're not at the moment. We don't have that many productions. So I am going to sell these 
these pallets of wool. If I can pick them up, I can. Okay, this is the way to Magazin Fermier where we sell loads of stuff. Um, I've realised that I think that the place where we sell wool is right next to Magazin Fermier. So, and also, before we go in, I need to take the eggs off because I do not want the eggs selling. Uh, let's just pop out and take the eggs off. Yeah, I don't want to sell these. I want to... I'll put them on the other side actually just here and hope no, nobody nicks them <laughs> I'll put them there and we'll pick them up afterwards oh gosh everything's falling off because I took the eggs off honestly I've spent so much time putting the strawberries on in a a uniform fashion okay right let's sell the strawberries and see what we get for it hopefully 80,000 <laughs> Okay, I will get out because I need to sell the wall. So I'll take it down here. There. And I think there's some strawberries that have fallen off, so... Let's make sure they... Right, I think we have to make them flat so they, so they can sell. Are they going? Yes. Okay. Now, I'm not sure... <laughs> that was a bit of a mishmash, so I'm not quite sure how much we earned then. Um, but we're up to 40,000 more or less. And we still have stuff to sell in the south. So I'll just go here and pick up the eggs again. Okay, they haven't been nicked. So, this is going to look a bit strange having just some eggs on a low loader. But that's the way we do things in France, so that's fine. So, I will see you when we get down to our productions in the south. Okay, here we are getting to our productions and there's a couple of exciting things here for me and I just want to show you actually, if you've been following the series for a while, you'll know that we've put uh, grapes, we've been growing grapes potentially, well here they all are. Grapes ready to harvest, isn't that fantastic? So they're all, we've got 13 rows in the vineyard here, so where am I going? And the other exciting thing is that I think I'm right in saying that to make cakes, all we need is eggs now. So I'm going to find out in a minute. I'll just get through the barrier. Um, look, we do have some chocolate to, to take. That's good. And we have some bread. But, okay, let's just stop the engine. Productions. Let's go down to the bakery and look at cakes. For cakes, look at that. We have everything is green, but we've got no eggs. So, I'll start producing cakes and storing them, and I will get the, the eggs and put them in. And that's our last ingredient. Take the eggs to the bakery. Fantastic. going they are going okay so let's have another look it's probably eggs oh it's quite a, yeah I think it takes 7,000 liters of each so we've got 1,000 liters of eggs in there so now we have cake it's not started making cake yet but um, I think everything is there everything is there for cakes so that's fantastic so here we are, nearly there. I hope you like the map. Um, uh, just on a side note, I should be able to do my videos in 1440p. I don't know if uh, this means anything to anybody, but I do, they're, they're put up at 1080p at the moment and it's not quite good enough for me. Um, so just uh, just a bit of technical shenanigans and I should be able to get, get them up at 1440p very soon. So my video should look much better so let's see how much we get for this lot 
Brilliant. 16,000 and we get... Oh, that looks like about a 10% environmental score reward. This is because we're doing precision farming. So, we have 57,000. The target is 80,000 to have um, the grape processing unit before we harvest the grapes. But, um, there's a couple of things I want to sell, actually, which are the disc harrow and the plough because we're never ever going to use them now we're doing precision farming because you will see um, in precision farming let's have a look in the codex it should be here at the bottom uh, right at the bottom it says about uh, tillage somewhere I think it's in here tillage is right at the bottom here um, tillage so plowing tracks zero points shallow tillage with the incorporation of crop residue saves fuel minimum tillage and direct seeding give the maximum score of 10 points so i always do direct seeding so i never use um a disc harrow even for cultivating um because i use a a, a direct drill which cultivates and seeds at the same time and that's what, what it seems to suggest you need so um, I think I will take both of those things and sell them. So I'll see you in a minute when I'm back at the farm. Okay, here we are back at the farm. I think I will take the Massey Ferguson and I'll get the plough on the front and the direct or the disc harrow on the back and I'll take them and I will sell them because we just don't need them. They're just sitting here when we need, we need other things um, and I don't think we're ever going to need well we're bound to as soon as I sell them we're going to need them aren't we but I don't think we will actually because like I said we can't plow now because plowing is forbidden absolutely forbidden uh, with um, precision farming and we use a dirt drill so why do we need a cultivator we don't so we can sell both these things and we'll have some money I'll see you when we're at the shop. Okay, so before I regret it, I will make sure I'm in the trigger. I will <laughs> I will sell these two things. Right then. So um yeah, repair it, yep. Yeah, let's repaint it. And we'll get twenty eight thousand for it, so let's sell it. Yes. Okay, and then the lizard, repair it, repaint it, and I get 15,000 for it. Yes, I heard it go. Okay, so now we have a healthy 97,077. So I'm just thinking about something actually. I just want to check on the cows and I'll tell you why in a sec. Um, they've got loads of hay. Okay. I would like to get them a total mix ration um, machine. What's it called? Let's have a look. Owned items, tools, animals with animals, animals here. So I'd like to get this one actually because I've used this one in, in a different game and I really like it. Uh, but it's 50,000. Which begs the question, is there one in the sale? Uh, no. Oh, look at that. That's the power spray I've got. I paid 90,000 for that. Gosh. <laughs> um, manure spreader. No. So I'm tempted even. We won't do it now because the cows have got loads of hay still to keep them going. But I would like to have um, one of those total mix ration mixers uh, eventually because we've got loads of silage and straw and hay and we can mix it all up and make TMR but we can't do it without a machine so I'll think on that and yeah I'll have a think about that and maybe that's I mean there's loads of things to buy but that's just one major thing to buy um, anyway I think all we need to do today is to put some lime on the grass field because we were we were talking about that earlier we didn't do it this morning so we'll do it now and then we will skip to tomorrow and it'll be October 
Okay, I think that's the field done. Um, there are missed bits, but I can't, uh, I can't do them all. It would just drive me a bit. I, I think I will do these two missed bits here, actually, having said that. Um, just take a second to do them. Um, this field seems to be very lime hungry, but I suppose it, you need to lime, you need to, ch to correct the pH after every three harvests, I think it is. So it's likely that we've done three harvests on this grass field because uh, you mow grass all the time, don't you, when it's spring or summer or whatever. So, okay, I think that's it for today. I mean, in game today, not, not the episode. Um, I'll just put things back in the shed and we can skip on to tomorrow. And tomorrow, hopefully, we'll see the first growth stage in the canola. Oh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> This is what we need where we need to be. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, morning to you. Um I mustn't forget actually that we have a hundred thousand pound debt, I think. We do, so at some point I'm gonna start paying that off, but not now because we need all the money we can get at the moment. So we need to go down to field sixty six and see if we need to fertilize it. It's I've got no way of seeing the field. Uh, apart from driving there, I can't spawn there in any other way, so I'll take the class. The class has got the skinny wheels in it, so I always use this for kind of on the field fertilising and things like that. Uh, just get through the trees. This is our newly discovered shortcut for our two fields here. This is our field in front of us, so we're allowed to drive on it. We'll go this way because it's not quite so hilly. And when we come over the crest of the hill, will we see the first... I think we do see the first growth stage. This is, this is very good. So... Oh. Okay, now. <laughs> I seem to press the wrong button somewhere, so I think I'll just fold up. Let's just go turn the lights off, turn everything off and let's just go and stand on the field for a second. Um, you can see the weeds here so we need to fertilize this. So nitrogen is bad so that's because we need to do the, the second fertilizing stage. We've already done the first by putting slurry on before we did anything else. So pH is perfect that's good. So we do need to fertilize and we need to herbicide as well. So I will get everything, get on the field to get everything unfolded and then I'll go around the whole field and fertilize it. Okay, last little bit to do, obviously, um, and then we need to do something about the horrible weeds that are all over this field. Um, so, let's turn things off. And what we need to do is go and get the herbicide, because now, um, as I mentioned before, I think I mentioned before, that this sprayer that we have, the John Deere R732i, has spot and spray technology on it, which should spot weeds and then and then zap them and kill them. But I think, actually, that... Let's have a look. Weeds medium. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that weeds need to be, like, fully grown before you can 
use spot and spray but I don't know maybe it's medium you'd think they'd be able to spot them now they're quite big <laughs> look at them um, so I'll I'll look, go up to the farm I'll cut to when we're back with uh, her beside in the tank okay so here we are getting back to the field um, by the way we've got two other fields and uh, we're not doing anything with them at the moment because in one I want to do sugar beet and in the, this one we're sitting on now I wanted to do sunflower so we can make sunflower oil so that's why nothing's happening with those at the moment but I did want to do canola to make canola oil in this field now I thought about something when I was driving along which is I haven't checked our precision farming schools for ages and I would like to see them are uh, our environmental score is 82, which is pretty high. That was, I don't know, about 55 the last time I looked at it. But we also get scores for the... How do I zoom in? There we go. We also get scores for the field. So this field is at 69. It was about... We've got nearly top scores on everything, apart from the top one, which is nitrogen. Um... I think we get that score when it's harvested. So you can see our scores. We got 100 for this field, 95 for this one. I'm not quite sure why. The top one is nitrogen. We missed out there. But our environmental score is 82, and that's very good. So uh, anyway, I pressed the worker button just now, <laughs> which is why everything unfolded. Um, so let's get on the field, and then we'll unfold. And I need to make sure that spotted spray is on. So let's have a look. Turn on sprayer. Deactivate. Yeah, we've got the automatic application rate, so that must mean spotted spray. So let's turn it on. And let's go. And let's make sure it's just spraying where it sees the weeds. Yeah, I think it is. And you can see that the herbicide isn't, is hardly going down at all. The little bottle at the bottom of the screen. Yes, it's spot and spraying now. It wouldn't do it before the first growth stage. So anyway, I'm going to have to do a fast forward on this again. But I do like to see the weeds going. <laughs> I do like that. Let's just, uh, I'll just do this little bit at the end because there's loads of weeds here and then we'll do a fast forward on it but it's good to see spot and spray working because it wasn't working um, before like I said before the first growth stage so I'll do a fast forward on this and I'll see you at the end Well, I think this John Deere power sprayer is absolutely fantastic. Um, we've used hardly any herbicide at all. I think we were at 54% when we started. And because it just sprays um, where it sees the weeds, it uses hardly any herbicide. Now, I'm just going to do a slight experiment before I turn everything off. I hope I can get through these two poles here and just go on this field over here and see what it does, if it spots and sprays or it just sprays all over the place. Yeah, it does spot and spray. Well, I'm not going to do this whole field, but it's interesting why uh, we couldn't uh, we couldn't do it before when before the first growth stage when we just seeded everything and there were weeds on the field we couldn't do spot and spray then and I don't really know why so 
The final thing in the episode, I think, what I'd like to do is just go down to our productions in the south and I want to see if we've made cakes. <laughs> because it's been an ambition of mine for a while. Um, actually, what do we need to do? Let's, let's go to the map and where are we down here? Yes, here we are. So let's just go down to the dairy. So, no chocolate, surprise, surprise. That's not very prolific. Do I see... Good Lord, look at that! Cakes! Now, is that a full thing of cakes? 100 kilograms, 400 litres of cakes. Okay, so bread. And we have got more cakes coming through? We do, but we've got a whole thing of cakes. And I think that's a positive thing to end the episode on. So, hooray for cakes. Um, now, next time it's going to be probably October the 2nd and you'll see that we have grapes over here that need harvesting. So, in the next episode we'll harvest these and we'll, we'll also get a grape processing unit which we'll need to find a space for here somewhere. So, thanks very much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the episode and see you again soon. Bye for now.